Hey, alumni friends, it's time for another NHCC alumni coffee break. Continuing our series of alums that became employees of North Hennepin Community College, my great friend, somebody that probably needs no introduction to you, but the amazing, the incredible Miss Karen Philbin. Welcome to. Oh my gosh, Troy, you're making me blush on camera. Can everybody oh. see my cup? <laughs> yes. I, I, collect, I, I collect mug cups whenever I travel. So I love um, that. I have my coffee in a Triangle Ranch, South Dakota <laughs> cup right now. So anyway, it's lovely to be here. Do you love my garden? I do. Your garden is spectacular. It suits you, Karen. It's <laughs> actually it's one of my it, one of my happy places is the Minnesota Arboretum, and I also know that Troy is a huge gardener. You're a master gardener, right, Troy? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, so, yes. so this is for you as well, Troy. Oh, so, good, good morning. Great. Thank thank you for inviting me to chat today. Now who's blushing? <laughs> You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Well, thank you, Karen. And as uh, many of you already know, Karen uh, is the director of the Career Resource Center at the campus. Um, they are moving in some really cool directions right now with experiential learning. So we'll have some comments at the end. But first and foremost, Karen, you are an alum of the campus and an incredible alum at that. And you were kind of uh, off camera discussing an influential person in your life at North Hennepin. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm very proud to say that I am an alum of North Hennepin. Um, I hope I stand as evidence for students that it's never too late to change your career direction and, and pursue your dream. Um, yeah, so going back to, oh my gosh, a long time ago, I started at North Hennepin in 1999 and there was um, one semester when I had the same amazing professor for three classes. Her name was Judy Isla. And I always remember on the first day of class, her coming, she, she was a bigger than life kind of person. She came bundling into the class and she said, who's Karen? And I looked up, I thought, oh boy, am I in trouble already, you know? And she looked at me and laughed and said, we're either gonna love this or hate it because you've got me for three classes this semester. And it, it, re it really was the start of a, a really special relationship. You know, I encourage any students um, who might also be listening on this, get to know your professors. But she was really influential. She is probably the sole reason why I'm sat here today. And, um, you know, just in brief, what Judy did was she opened a door for me um, and gave me a recommendation for a temporary position at North Hennepin. Um, you might have gathered... You might have heard an accent there. I'm from the UK. <laughs> and I had just got my work authorization. She knew I was going through that process. And she said, we have the job for you. And uh, I, look, I look back on that time and, and honestly try. It's that recognition that you hear about people being in the right place at the right time. And then recognizing that, gosh, that actually happened to me. And I'm, I'm very, very grateful for that opportunity because you know 19 years later here I am. That's incredible and I have such fond memories of Judy Eiler as well. Mm -hmm. What a giant of the campus. Mm -hmm. Business professor went on to interim dean of that department and uh, she was deeply influential to me as well. So mm -hmm. I, that really that choice really really resonates with me. Mm -hmm. So I, I want to ask you you know I mean you had that wonderful you know i we call it planned happenstance you know i you mm -hmm. know like uh, career mm -hmm. services a little bit as well and uh, mm -hmm. certainly um that is a, a great story back in 1999 and your vision has taken us all the way to 2020 along with many other leaders at the campus where mm -hmm. you guys are now looking in the direction of experiential learning as mm -hmm. something that will be a centerpiece of the Career Development Center, which I think is, is going to be deeply um, appreciated mm -hmm. by our alums. And there, there's a great opportunity there for them as well. So tell us more about the direction. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course. So, you know, what's, what's interesting about, you know, working for one organization or education institution for so long is, um, despite what people might think, things don't stay the same all the way through, right? So, you know, I've gone through various 
I won't say reinventions, but morphed through my career at North Hennepin, um, always somehow connected to career services. And the college made, um, I think, an exciting decision to move career services as part of our, we are actually called Workforce Innovation and Experiential Learning Centre. And that model is providing a more holistic experience for students so that they can be exploring you know, who they are, um, looking at their career options, career exploration. We have staff within that team that can help with that experiential piece, such as internships, job shadow. We have um, an academic advisor who will help students structure their career pathways. Myself, I'm going to support students with those career service pieces that help them get ready for the job market. So, um, you know, resume writing and so on. And we have uh, another person on board who is actually very engaged in helping students navigate um, non-traditional careers, typically for their gender. So you can think about males in nursing, women in STEM careers. So it's an exciting time for us. You know, our, our, I think our only regret right now is um, obviously with COVID, it's impacted people in small and big ways. We have a beautiful new centre that's opened in the library and you know, the doors are locked right now. So we, we, we can't wait to be back on campus and share that space with students. But so far as the alumni are concerned, it does open up opportunity. You know, if you think about your own experience in college and maybe what was missing and what you would have liked to experience, we're hoping to bring alumni in to engage in some of those activities. So, you know, maybe it plants a seed there for you, maybe being a future mentor are providing a job shadow or an informational interview opportunity for our students. And, you know, I'd encourage anyone listening right now, don't just wait for us to reach out to you. You know, if that's something that you want to give back to the community, you can connect with Troy or myself and, you know, just let us know that you would be interested in um, being a resource for our existing students. Yes, oh, for sure. And, and Karen, this is really, the beginning of a beautiful uh, partnership for mm -hmm. our offices and thank you so eloquently for putting it uh, out there for alums to be you know if you're interested respond mm -hmm. uh, you can uh, leave feedback on the uh, alumni of NACC Facebook page this is where this interview will appear we'd mm -hmm. love to hear comments from you if you're interested uh, please do respond and mm -hmm. also I, I think Karen we should we should close our interview for sure by talking a little bit about this is going to be a continuing series mm -hmm. uh, in that you have some exciting things to share with our alums upcoming mm -hmm. yes. yes so, so um Try is going to be able to share with you a, a video that I have on our College Central Network platform, which is um, our job posting board, essentially. So you as an alum can use that as a resource. You know, once you're connected to the college, you're always connected, right? Yes. Um, so you, you can use that resource. Um, and also think about your current employer who might also be interested in posting those opportunities to our students. Um, there'll be virtual events that they can connect with. Um, am I missing something, Troy? Was there something else that you wanted me to be thinking about? Oh, no, actually, I'll, I'll add on to your wonderful comments, Karen. Mm -hmm. so beyond this, beyond partnering with career services and these opportunities for you as alums to be engaged in a number of programs that Karen and her team uh, are spearheading under the uh, experiential learning header, we here in the alumni office and in the foundation will also be featuring mm -hmm. leadership articles regularly mm -hmm. going forward on this site. As, as you know, for anybody who mm -hmm. regularly tuning in, we do these coffee breaks every Tuesday, but a new centerpiece of our social media presence to you for alums is to help you also too in your career journey. So if there are you know, things that you'd like to see, uh, we'd love to hear about that. But right now, we will be focusing in on leadership articles, partnering with the amazing Ms. Karen mm -hmm. Philbin with her resources. She uh, referenced the resume writing, the cover letters and things of that nature. She has a lot of great resources that we're going to be sharing with this audience. But I think the takeaway is that career services and alumni services are regularly going to be partnering going forward on a lot of different levels, either things mm -hmm. that you can philanthropically give back to the campus, maybe you have an interest mm -hmm. in that, and or if you too, as an alum, are seeking a job and need some support, 
that's what this series will be all about. So Karen, I can't thank you enough for being yeah. here. I couldn't have worded that better, Troy. I think um, there's a great, it's a great gift to um, give and receive. Um, I don't need to tell someone who's so closely connected to foundation that um, we get great joy from giving and sharing our talents, um, but it works both ways. So as an alum, if you're out there, maybe you're in a transition, you know, maybe that's possibly related to COVID. We know that these are difficult times. Don't be shy about reaching out and taking advantages of resources that are there for you. So, you know, anybody who's listening in on this, if you need some help with revamping your resume or you just want to have a conversation about what might be some next steps, um, you know, we're here to support you. That's that's wonderful, Karen. And so on behalf of Career Services and Karen Philbin and the Alumni Services and the Foundation Office, Signing off for now, but uh, please let us know how we can support you. Karen, thank you so much. You're welcome. Um